Yo, what's up, guys? I'm back, going to be for this time. We have this 88 raid Paolo Future. Now, this is a new hero of this year, so I really wanted to try and see what he's about. It looks very, very OP, in my opinion. On stat sensor, he's 5 foot 9, got the high low work rates. His 4 star skills with the 3 star weak foot, and his preferred foot is the left foot. Now, in the games I play with him, I got 5 games, 9 goals, 5 assists. Now, obviously, I play more than that after this, but I played him in um, a variety of like gamers like uh, foot champs, rivals, etc. On those herb positions, he's got the left mid, the left wing, the right wing, and also the striker. So he does have a nice variety, especially as he gets to the chem no matter where he plays. So on stats then, so he's got the 93 pace, the 81 shooting, the 80 passing, the 93 dueling, and the 58 physicals. On paper, looks like a very swift and agile card. But I'll speak more about that after on the positive and negative side of things. Now, on playstyles, he does have quite a few nice playstyles in Monis, and the main one I want to talk about is that technical plus. Now, first me is the incisive pass. This is really nice to have for an attacker. He's got the first touch, he's got the flare, he also has the quick step, which is a very nice one again for an attacker, and obviously the main one, which is the technical plus, which is, in my opinion, with rapid plus, the best two this year, maybe, and quick step plus. All three of them are just so, so deadly, but this just allows the striker to move really nicely and swiftly on the ball. But if you do enjoy the clips or want to see more, please subscribe. It generally does help the channel out a lot. And I'll see you after. Peace.
either. Now, on this segment, I talk about what's good, what's bad on the card, what you should utilize and what you shouldn't, just so you're not making the same mistakes as I do, or you're doing the same things as I do to make sure you can utilize the card's value as much as humanly possible. So, we'll go through it then. So, first meet is the four-star skills, three-star weak foot. Now, the four-star skills, obviously, are really nice, especially since this card's so swift, so agile on the ball. You can definitely utilize them very nicely, and especially with the R1 dribbling on the technical on this. It is insanely, insanely good. And honestly, you can twist and turn for England. Honestly, it's amazing. Now, the four-star, three-star weak foot, sorry, is pretty average, if I'm honest. It's not amazing. It's not bad. I mean, it's very inconsistent when you're on those hard angles, but overall, he can score a few chances on it. Now, next up for me is his pace. Now, that acceleration is insanely fast. Now, if you're holding the R1 and you get straight off it and get on the sprint, he's going to burst from goal. He's seriously, seriously fast on that acceleration, and I don't really feel like many defenders could keep up with him or even catch him, honestly. He's so, so quick on it. And honestly, if I'm being real, his preferred position, in my opinion... Um, is a winger, so hardly a winger. I don't recommend it anywhere else, and I will explain why in a minute. So, the shooting for me. This is where the issue lies on this card. He is so, so inconsistent with shooting. And honestly, it's probably one of the worst finishes I've used so far this year. And I honestly, McManaman has about four less finishing at base normally. Honestly, this card is so much worse at finishing than him. He just can't seem to score the easy chances. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because his play styles, he doesn't have many shooting ones. But overall, he is so, so inconsistent. Maybe it's that shot power finishing, but he's got the really high composure. So you would think he's very consistent with it, but he's not. Honestly, the shooting, I can't stress it enough. He's not an amazing shooter. Obviously, he'll score the odd chance here and there, like across goals and stuff like that. That seems to be his main key one that he can score the across goal ones. But finessing near post, near post shots, just generally a lot of the shots, right foot shots, he would just be very inconsistent with. Now, the passing for me, as a wide... Uh, the short pass is good, the vision is decent, especially with their dead eye chem style. Overall, it is quite consistent. The long pass, I wouldn't recommend you spraying it out with him. He's not got that many passing play styles. So overall, I just think it's very good to do the ticky tack of one twos and then get him on the line, get him using that technical uh, play style since that's so effective this year. And talking of effective, look at these dribbling attributes. Honestly, behind Messi, the second best dribble I've used so far this year. He's so good with that technical. Swift, agile, can turn so fast, twist so fast. And honestly, it's such a hard thing to get him off that ball. I know a lot of defenders this year are struggling to, like, move and turn. And when you've got a card like this with so much technical ability, it's so, so difficult to get him off the ball. Now, next one is his physical attributes, and honestly, overall, these are all useless. I'm, I'm not being funny, the stamina is useless, the head and axe is useless, jumping useless, and so is the strength. This is not the type of card you want to be doing, um, like holding off the ball with. He's just, he's just an absolute agile uh, dribbler. So, on to the fun part of our review, we've got the overall scores. Now, first me kicking off is the pace. Now, overall for the pace, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. It is close to a 9.5. If you had the rapid plus instead of the technical plus, it probably would be more like a 9.5. But that acceleration with the technical plus, it is more like a 9. He will get caught up to possibly by Kyle Walker or something like that. But overall, he is electric, electric fast. Don't get that taken away from him. Now, the shooting for me overall, I'm going to give it a 5.5 out of 10. It's so, so inconsistent. I can't stress this enough. It is so inconsistent on this card. And when you need it in big games, it is very, very frustrating, if I'm honest. Like, it's one of the worst I've used for a high expensive card this year. I don't know why. Now, the passing for me, generally speaking, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's consistent enough to do the simple stuff, especially with that short pass being not too bad overall. But it's not really like a De Bruyne-esque where he's going to be doing absolute fizzing passes across the pitch. It's just simple stuff, really. Now the dribbling for me, I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it a nine and a half out of ten. It's very, very close to a ten out of ten. If you had the five star skills, it would probably be a ten out of ten. But with that being said, um, he does need those five star skills to make him even more swift. But that technical plus is just absolutely amazing on this card. I can't stress it enough. Now the physicals for me, I'm going to give it a five out of ten. They're very, very bad overall. Even the stamina isn't really amazing, so you probably will need to sub them off around the 70th minute, depending on how your instructions go. But overall, I do recommend this card as a wide only, especially with the Dead Eye Chem style. He's got the passing then. He's got a bit more shooting to try and rely on it a bit more. But that pace and that dribbling is what you want on this card. Would I recommend it for the price? I'm saying no. Value for coins and overall score. Overall score for me then, I'm going to give him a 7.3 out of 10. I just, overall for that pace and dribbling, he's so, so good with it. But that shooting is such a letdown. So overall for value of coins, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. He is still a very good card with that wing as long as you don't really effectively use that shooting. 
but I just think uh, it's too expensive a card for this stage of the game to be doing that with. But those are all for my viewers, always I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do subscribe, it generally does mean a lot. But I've got nothing more to say, so I'll see you next view and peace out guys.